what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my son Charlie is seven months old. In this video, I want to share how I'm going to prep him and prep myself to sleep train. We're going to start sleep training tomorrow and there are a bunch of things that I'm going to do to prepare ourselves for that and I just thought I would share that with you guys because if you're in the same boat as myself and you're trying to sleep train, then this video might be helpful for you. If you are someone who's seriously against sleep training, then I I highly recommend that you just skip through this video but if you are someone who wants to know more about sleep training then keep watching so Charlie is currently sleeping I'm gonna try and quickly get through a little bit of the backstory before he wakes up so like I mentioned he is seven months old he has been the worst sleeper since day one he has done one full night since he was born and it wasn't even a full night it was like a 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. but I consider that a full night. I personally haven't slept for more than three hours in a row since I was like eight months pregnant but that is a hundred percent my fault. Personally I feel like sleep training is just the best thing right now for our family. We are currently in a survival mode. We've been trying to do anything to survive and just get up in the morning and we are super exhausted and I'm really really hoping that this will work. So we have tried sleep training twice before and both of those times didn't work but it was 100% because I didn't do enough research and I kind of just winged it and then things happened like he got a sleep regression or we went on holiday or he started teething. There was just so much that wasn't right. We are now prepared to sleep train the right way. We have actually bought taking Cara Baby's sleep training course and Jamie and I watched that last night. We watched all of the videos. We took a bunch of notes. But yeah, that's kind of the situation that we're in. Once Charlie wakes up, I will show you where he's currently sleeping, what his room looks like. I have quite a bit to do. I have bought some stuff, so I'll go through all of that and show you everything. And I'm also going to be documenting our sleep training process. Obviously, I can't go into much depth about the Taking Cara Babies course because it is a paid course and she is a mom. If you need to sleep train, then I highly recommend that you buy that. Just without even starting sleep training the course has given me so much information that i didn't know before and i have watched so many youtube videos about sleep training yet i was still doing so many things wrong so i feel like having all the information in front of you is just super helpful i think it costs like 220 new zealand dollars which is a little bit pricey but i know that getting a sleep consultant which was our next option is like a thousand dollars to have them stay the night so this is the cheaper option and I will make sure to let you know how it goes for us in the next video. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss those videos. So this is the current situation that we are in. This is our bedroom and Jamie and I sleep there and Charlie obviously sleep right there. So the aim tomorrow, I'm going to be moving him next door because we're going to start sleep training tomorrow. But that is one of the biggest things that um, we're going to be doing. I did also forget to mention that he can self-settle when we first put him into his crib. But then he'll wake up like 30 minutes to an hour after that and he can't settle back and that will be like that for the rest of the night. Lately he's been waking up every hour and it gets to the point where it's like 2am, 4am and we're so tired that we end up bringing him into the bed with us which is really bad I know and it's the one thing I really didn't want to do as a parent and I'm really really sad that it's gone to that point but honestly like I mentioned we're just in survival mode right now so the aim is to obviously cut that habit before it's too late and get him to sleep in his bed the whole night so yeah that's currently where we are he can self settle at the start but he just can't self settle after that so that is where he is sleeping let me show you guys his room which is a complete mess which is what I'm gonna be doing today This is his current bedroom and it is so bad. I have so much to do. My family was over last weekend and I had to put this mattress down because we've only got one spare single bed and then I had to like move everything and I haven't had the time to move back. This has honestly just become a dump station and this is where like I've been filming my sit down YouTube videos. I really need to clean this and that is mainly what I'm going to be doing today. 
I also am going to show you guys what I bought. So currently we just have blackout blinds, but I have bought some thermal curtains to put because this room gets super cold. So we're going to do that tonight when Jamie gets home. Bought some other things that I'll show you guys, but first things first, let's clean this room. Okay, so the majority of it is done. I've taken out. Oh my god. The hook just fell. Okay, we need to fix that. Let's just pop that down for now. As I was saying, the majority of it is done. Don't touch the plugs, the little covers on that. Um, so, I need to move that. I need to move that there. That's going to go in the spare bedroom. But hey, I'm gonna wait for Jamie to do that and then I'm gonna rearrange that. I obviously need to vacuum, but I can't do that without Jamie because he is terrified of the vacuum cleaner. Let me also go grab the couple things that I have bought to prepare for sleep trainings and then I'll show you guys all of that. So be right back. So I have bought him some extra pacifiers. I just got another pack of two without saying too much, obviously off Kara's course. I am going to try and teach him to put his dummy inside of his mouth. So I'm going to grab a couple, we're going to play games and just try and teach him to do that. I think I'm going to try the Bibs dummies as well because they're super cute but I did buy two more of the ones that he currently uses and these are the curtains that I bought so they are thermal as well as blackout curtains so like I mentioned we've got blackout blinds and these are blackout curtains the aim is just to get the room as dark as possible that's what he's used to I'm gonna put the white noise in here I'm gonna put his monitor something else that I have bought and ordered I just am waiting to arrive I think it'll arrive tomorrow is a mesh crib border so I used to have one of those bumper cots and I didn't know they were unsafe but I now know that those are no longer safe for babies so I have removed that and I bought a mesh one which is breathable and it's all safe for babies and I've got that so that I can have his dummies inside of his crib and they won't fall out of the, the little holes in the crib and also he always gets his legs stuck in between the rails of the crib so this is just something that I'm going to do to try prevent that to try and make him fall asleep faster and teach him to self do's and all of the above but yeah I will show you guys the final of this room tomorrow when we put the curtains up and the bed okay so it is a couple days later and we had to move everything back because Jamie didn't have the time to put the curtains up and we just needed the curtains before we can move them into the bedroom so now I'm two days late from when I wanted to start sleep training but it's okay Jamie still hasn't had the chance to put up the rail for the curtains my brother is going to come and help me do that now and I need to move the bed and hopefully it's like 2 p.m. or 2 30 and hopefully I can get everything done for nap time he is also in the worst mood possible okay if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're the main caregiver of your child you might be able to relate when I say this Charlie is an angel around other people when he's in his own home environment he plays with his toys he plays with everyone everyone's like oh my god he's an easy ass baby when he's with me he just cries until I pick him up and he's in this position he knows exactly what to do he'll just keep crying he doesn't want to play he doesn't want to be on the floor he just wants to be in my arms and I try and tell that to people and they're like mm, are you lying like he's an angel so does that happen to anyone else or is it just me and no one believes me but like he yeah he's just in one of those moods right now so um that's why he is glued to me so hi hi vlog charlie say hi no but very grumpy so anyway i'm going to do the bed right now
almost done. That was a mission and a half. I had to like hurry it up because it is 4.30 and he was due for a nap at 4. The rail is up. I'll show you guys in that very soon. I'm going to put him down for a nap in his new room. I'm just going to use the, the blinds without the curtains. Hopefully he can have a short nap and then I can continue and put the curtains up. Still so much to do but it's okay. We're going to get there and he's going to have the best amazing first night in his own room. Yeah, that's a yawn. It's nap time. Catch you soon. Okay, a little bit of an update. Charlie has woken up from his nap. It is 5.30 and I realized that when I was gonna go put the curtain up that I didn't have the hooks. You know the little hooks that you have in between the curtain and the rail? Also, my camera is on the car. Don't worry, I'm looking in front. But yeah, I don't have that. So we are rushing to the warehouse to get some we have about an hour until we need to start our bedtime routine so I think I can get it done the warehouse is about another five minutes away from where I'm going oh I'm going the wrong way Ooh. it's okay it's okay I can fix this I can go this way why am I doing that this is why I can't multitask I should not be doing two things at the same time but I just wanted to update you guys with what I'm doing. So I'm going to the warehouse, I'm gonna get my hooks, go back, put the curtains on, start bedtime routine. It's gonna be okay. I really wish I didn't have to rush all of this, but maybe it's just what needs to happen. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now because I need to focus on driving. We have done it. It is six o'clock and the curtains are up. The bed is made. We are gonna start our nighttime routine. Let me go show you guys what his room's currently looking like. There's a lot that needs to be done still tomorrow, but it is fine for him to sleep in tonight. As you can see, the curtains have been placed. I currently just have his bed like in the middle of the room and when Jamie is here tomorrow morning, we'll move everything out of the way. So I have put some clean sheets on his bed. He's got everything ready. This is the teddy that he chose to sleep with. I also have some dummies on the side. I have the mesh bumper cot border thing that goes around the cot. And the one that I went with is the air wrap mesh. It is from the sleep store in New Zealand. It's honestly just the first one that I found. So that's the one that I grabbed. But I'm a bit confused on how to put it. So. I'm going to wait for Jamie to get home. He will get home before I need to put the baby to sleep. So hopefully he can do that. I also have the monitor there on the side. As you can see, it's just currently on a stack of books. Um, and tomorrow we'll like place it correctly somewhere. I have the speaker so we can place the white noise. But yeah, sorry this vlog turned out to be super hectic. I honestly just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing to prepare him for sleep training. I thought it would be helpful. I didn't realize it would end up being me running around. I definitely did not leave enough time to do all of the things that I had to do, but it's okay. I'm glad that it's done and I'm glad that I rushed to get it done and that sleep training will start tonight because I just couldn't wait any longer. It's just, it needed to happen. So I hope you still enjoyed this this vlog. Sorry it was really hectic. As always, give it a thumbs up if you did because that really supports my channel. And make sure that you subscribe because I will update you guys on his sleep training. I will talk a lot more in depth about it when we're like three days into his sleep training or four days, however long. I feel like I need to document before I can talk to you guys. But anyway, I will wrap up this vlog here. Alright, see you guys. Shay, bye!